this is it. It's very crappy. Maybe you should unwind after the flight. Maybe take a shower. Shower? Oh, this is one of those secret agent hidden entrance things, isn't it? Well, it was until you started talking about it. About this. Positive. Trust me. Okay. See? What did I tell you? I stand corrected. This is a hell of an operation center. I'll be able to do some real good here. I'm glad you like it. Now that you've made it to Taipei, what are your plans? Priority one is to find out more about this assassination attempt. Agreed. How are you going to go about it? I've got three leads to start with. This Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I've checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. I think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. Isn't that why you love me? You watch yourself out there, Mr. Thornton. Always. Mina wrote way to score. I think she custom framed it just for me. How nice.
Agent Darcy sent me this for ace in the training course. He misspelled my name, Thornton. Forces report sporadic outbreaks of violence across the Middle East, believed to be part of a power struggle between rival terrorist organizations. Army spokesman Colonel J. Robert Powers tells INN that a suspected Osama terrorist training camp on the outskirts of Jason was destroyed yesterday, allegedly in a daring daytime raid by members of the Al Tair sect. Chinese government officials today announced that the People's Republic would issue sanctions against any nation recognizing Taiwan as an independent state. The Chinese have always held the official position that Taiwan is merely a breakaway province. But with Taiwanese President Ronald Tsung's calls for official separation from the mainland, Chinese officials are growing nervous. When asked what form economic sanctions might take, the Chinese ambassador to the United States said, quote, We will take all actions deemed necessary and appropriate to safeguard Chinese sovereignty. A leading arms trafficker suspected of supplying terrorist organization al Samad was captured by coalition forces earlier this week. Mohammed Omar bin Nasri, based in a remote part of Saudi Arabia, was in possession of over $100 million worth of small arms, ammunition, missiles, and vehicles. His extradition to the United States is currently being worked out with the Saudi government. Terrorism. Still a threat? Authors from best-selling books on terrorism say yes and point to a recent rise in incidents in the Middle East as proof of their claims. Could another incident like 9-11 be in our future? Tune in for our special feature, Terror Threat, Global Terror in Our Backyards. In financial news, Halbeck Industries is facing intense scrutiny from shareholders. Just the latest bump in a troubled road for the once mighty defense contractor. Halbeck has shown increasing signs of moving into a business slump. With profits shrinking and a reported 50% of their projects canceled, pressure from shareholders is suspected to force the industry giant into massive layoffs. CEO Robert Halbeck III has given numerous reassurances to the press that the company is merely entering a, quote, re-engineering period and has no plans to institute a layoff program, but claims instead that the company is preparing for, quote, a new and exciting period of growth. This most recent statement saw Halbeck stock rise two points yesterday, but this was soon followed by a plunge of ten more points. Certainly a tricky situation for the contractor. Hard to bring back confidence from a slump like that, wouldn't you say, Roger? Definitely, Melissa. The CEO could try appearing with an attractive young co-worker, although that doesn't always help ratings, or consumer confidence. More on this story as it develops. Terrorism. With you in a sec, buddy. Not too uncomfortable, I hope. Now this, this is dry cleaning solution. Active ingredient is perchloroethylene. Get stains out like a champ. Like a champ when, believe you me. I can come back. Oh, no, no, please, just be a sec. So you remember where they are now, do you? Candy dish? Ah, that does it, when. You know I don't like sweet... Oh, the candy dish! That's right! That's where I left my keys. Should have said something earlier, Wen. You see what I almost made you drink? <laughs> Good old Wen. Always getting into antics. Anywho, what can I do you for? I got a line on somebody aiming to assassinate President Sung. I was hoping you might be able to help me with that. You came to the right place. And you're lucky you did. See, people come in and out of Taipei all the time without asking for clearance, so then I have to erase them so they don't expose me. Expose what exactly? Your overuse of quotation marks? My secret identity and everything I know, that's what. Listen, did you know that in the 1960s the CIA surgically jammed a mic and antenna into a cat for an op codenamed Acoustic Kitty? 
No, I've never heard that. Have you heard of anything relevant to my previous question? Oh, it's relevant. Just between you and me. And when. You're with the agency, am I right? I'm with an agency, but U.S. tax dollars don't keep the lights really? on. Really? SIS? Office of Secret Intelligence, Majestic 12, TVC 15. Oh, wait, EPA. Something like that. Yeah, I work for a division of the CIA that doesn't officially exist. Super secret. They just kind of turn me loose and let me go nuts. Uh huh. So, can you help me or not? Depends. How do I know you are who you say you are? I have to ask because, funny story. One time a salesman came in, and I thought he was buying secrets about the German Chancellor's security detail. Does the name Alpha Protocol mean anything to you? Secret program to allow the government plausible deniability? Mm, no, not really. After all, the U.S. doesn't do black ops anymore. They changed the color to something else. Orange, I think. Yeah, that's the new black. So you never heard about that orange op I did in the Middle East? The one where Shahid disappeared in a flash of light? That was me. Really? Well, I definitely heard of that thing you just said. All right, color me convinced. So, Ronald's son, huh? Hey, did you ever notice his name's an anagram for lard on guns? Ironic, isn't it? Hey, yeah. And uh, considering that item posted a few years back in the Worldly Weekly about that pig fat being used as an experimental bullet toxin, not a coincidence. You might be onto something there, Mike. I'll look into that for sure. Ronnie Sung, Ronnie Sung. What do you want to know, Mike? Personal demons, pants size, political capital, sexual proclivities? Hmm? Actually, all of the above. But right now, I'm most interested in who might want Sung dead. Political assassinations? Yeah, those are fun. One time I took out an entire soccer stadium just to kill the premier of Namidia. Hey, did you know at 400 miles an hour, soccer balls can decapitate people? I didn't. But... Sung? Sure, sure. I can tell you this, Mike. There's a big conference coming up at the Grand Hotel. Sung's gonna be there, along with a few dozen EU bigwigs and the like. So you're suggesting I infiltrate the hotel. Why? Taiwanese National Security Bureau is providing the security. You think those cats don't just have oodles of stuff on everybody who might want their boss dead? Hmm. Wouldn't be too hard to slip in and borrow some of that information. Knew that would appeal to you, Mike. Hey, give me a call when you head that way. I'd like to be in on this. You got it. Thank you. 